oh my God, it felt like I just did drugs or something. I felt like I was finna faint, like it was just a whole different feeling. That was the worst tattoo I got, and that was the smallest tattoo I ever got. My first tattoo, I was like 14, 15 years old. I was in Birmingham, Alabama. This is before I was famous and everything. I went with my auntie. It was like a, a tattoo parlor, like around the corner from my house. And I was begging my mom. I was like, hey, mom, let me get a tattoo. Like, I was gonna surprise her, get my uh, get her name on it too, like on my arm. It didn't even hurt that bad for real. I thought it was gonna be like worse. Everybody was telling me, yeah, bro, the first tattoo is the worst. It's gonna kill you. I got my mom's name. I showed her to her. She wasn't even mad for real. I was like, oh, yeah, from now on, it's over with. I'm finna get inky. My 90s baby tattoo on my arm, I been had the image of what I wanted on my arm, and I wanted it on the top left arm, for sure. But when I got it, it was fatter than it was supposed to be, because I got a skinny ass arm. But it came out right, like, I got a fat ass me on my arm. With my favorite baseball team, you feel me? I got the number 44, because that was like my, uh, my number when I played baseball and played sports when I was younger. And my favorite channel, Nickelodeon, when I was younger. Like, and I missed the bounce, I with that fofo and all that. Like, I always had luck with Fofo, so. I was going towards like the Boondocks type of theme. Like, you know, like Huey Freeman, like Riley and all them type of <laughs> Kind of going off of that, but like more realistic to like me type of <laughs> But it's still a cartoon character damn near on my arm. What inspired me to get tattoos? I used to look up like the Cholo little drawings on YouTube and try to draw them out, like copy it, put my piece of paper on the screen and like outline it. So I've always been into like graffiti and tattoos. So it really wasn't like, all right, I seen him or her with cold ass tattoos and I gotta get a tattoo. My cousin, he was the first person around me that had a tattoo. He had a fat ass tattoo on the back of his neck. I was like, yep, when I get my neck inky, I'm finna have to go crazy, cause. My most recent piece that I got on my neck, I got like an angel on the side of my neck and I got the eye of uh, Providence and I got some converses in my block numbers. You feel me? Like where I be at in, in the street name. I got angels protecting me, like watching over me for the eye of Providence. While I'm on the block or while I'm outside doing whatever I'm doing or while I'm making music or doing whatever, like it's something that's there for me type <laughs> Only I will understand it unless I explain it type <laughs>I got St. Mary on my arm. It's like a sign to where my mom watching me while I'm doing everything. Like, you feel me? My mom always got my back. Like, I feel like my mom is the, the biggest influence in my life. I had to get something that represent her, like, other than just her name. Like, you feel me? I got it right next to her name, too. This arm is like mainly like spiritual shit. Like I got a bunch of geishas on my arm. And this geisha right here, like I got my aunt eyes. Everything around me on my, my body is mainly family and stuff that's connecting with me in real life. Instead of just getting on my arms and on my body. The most painful one was the smallest tattoo I got. Like I got a lifeline. It's like a little red heart in it. I couldn't even finish it. Like I swear to God, like I woke up one day and my homeboy, he was like, yeah, I'm on the way from OC, like, I'm finna pull up. Like, I remember you told me you wanted a tattoo today. So I wake up right when he there, he already at my house. I go in the living room, I'm like, I ain't gonna eat nothing, I ain't gonna drink nothing, let me go ahead and get this tattoo. I'm smoking a blunt, he put the needle on me. I'm like, oh my God, it felt like I just did drugs or something. I felt like I was finna faint, like it was a whole different feeling. That was the worst tattoo I got, and that was the smallest tattoo I ever got because I was dehydrated, I didn't eat or nothing. And you feel me, it was painful as hell. And that's the smallest tattoo, but it's on my wrist. My favorite tattoo artist is the only tattoo artist I let work on me, my boy Herschel. Everybody know Herschel, he do blue face tattoos, he do Lil Skies tattoos. That's the only person I go to. He did my neck, he did my arms, everything. I really wanna get my hands hit. I probably might get some like, yeah, I'm gonna fill my neck out. Like, it's filled out already, but I'm gonna get some more stuff added to it. I'm gonna get my hands done, my chest done. Uh, the face tattoo trend, I, it really don't matter no more. Like, back in the day, I used to be like, damn, people wanna just look hard, but. Now I understand people got a purpose for what they getting. Like, I don't really look at it like no type of way no more. I wouldn't get a face tattoo. I'd probably get something like small, like on the side of my ear or something like that. But like, not no face tattoo, you know what I'm saying? But anybody got a face tattoo, they doing their own They got a reason that they got it for. I got a theme to my right arm and my left arm. Like, you feel me? This is just like, all right, my first starting, I could put anything on this arm and it mattered to me, and I could do anything with this arm. But this arm, I got a flow with it. Like my gaises and everything, it kind of match with each other. This arm is kind of like putting stuff everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Now my neck, it kind of feel everything out. Like I kind of put something that was represented on this side, and something that was represented on this side, like so it all matched down like with everything. And like when I get my middle and my chest hit, it's gonna match with the middle of my neck. So I'm doing everything like with a flow.
any tattoos I regret getting. Nah, to be honest, I got all my tattoos in the right place and at the right time, so you feel me? All my tattoos mean something to me. I don't have nothing to cover up, so. It's not like I got a girl name or something, like a name that I didn't want. So you know what I'm saying? Like all my tattoos is cool, like it means something to me.